Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a website quickly using Envato Elements. So let's dive in. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to have Elementor, the free version, installed here, and then I'm going to add a new plugin. And if we search right here, it's called Envato Elements. And once it comes up, we're going to see right here, it's Envato Elements Photos and Elementor Templates. We're just going to click Install Now. And then we're going to click Activate. So there we have it's active on our site here. If we look, this is what our site looks like right now. I'm just simply using the Hello theme. You can see right here, that's the theme I have. And it's just this basic theme right now. So what we can do is we can actually go over to where it says Elements and just click on that. And here you're going to be asked to put in your email address and you've got to agree to the Envato terms. I'm just going to click continue from here. And then it's going to redirect us to this area. So right here it says new premium template kits and they're constantly adding new kits. Now these premium ones are available with an Envato Elements subscription. Right now it's $16.50 a month with their subscription. And I'm going to have a link below to that in the description if you're interested. But for now, I'm just going to click X here. And here it goes to this filter area where it says show premium template kits and show Elementor Pro templates. So I can actually uncheck those if I want. And I'm only going to see these free versions right here. So there's a lot of good templates right here. If we search through these, you actually can click up here and it will give you different categories to search through if you're looking for something in particular. And let's just say we wanted to search through these. I'm going to show you a few of these right here, just so you get an idea of what's available out there. You can also go and click on them if you want to see more or learn more about them. I'm going to do that here in a second. Let's just keep going through this and maybe we'll just go with this one right up here. So what you have is options for your different pages that you want to add to your site. So right here it says home one, home five right here. And I guess if we put on the show pro elements, we're going to have more. We're going to have one, two, three, four, and five. But you can add them for free. I'm going to just uncheck that so you can see that there are more elements with the pro version there. So right here we have home one, home five. Let's say we wanted to add one of these as our home page. If we were to click on it, you can get an idea of what the full page looks like right here. And then let's just name this one home for this example. I'll click create page and I'll click import template right here. And it's going to just take a few seconds to go into effect. And there it says congrats. This was just imported into your WordPress library. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back to the template kit and then I'll choose a couple more. So we have an about us page right here. We have an our team. So I'm going to go to our team and I'm actually going to call this one team. Just hit create and I'll click import again. And it's just going to take a moment and there it goes. Let's go back and we'll add a pricing page. I'll just simply call this one pricing. Create new and import it. And there it goes. And if we go back one more time, let's go down and get a contact page. It looks like this is the only one available right now. And you can just go and hit add contact. Create page and import template. So once this is done, we're going to just click open template in library and you can see right here that it's just going to show us a brief view of what our template looks like so we're going to actually have to go back into the dashboard so let's exit back to the dashboard and here you're going to go to pages so under pages you're going to see that they're all still drafts right now so i'm going to just go and get rid of the sample and the privacy policy and i'm just going to move those two to the trash but here i'm just going to go into edit and I'm just going to publish the page here. So I'll just hit publish, publish again. And now the contact page should be live. If we go back to home, I'll do the same thing and just publish this one as well. And then we'll go back to pages here, pricing, and we'll just publish and publish again. And back over to pages and we'll go to team. And lastly here, we're going to go to publish and publish again. So what I'm going to do now is go over to where it says Appearance Menus. And from here, I'm just going to add a new menu. I'll hit Create Menu, Primary Menu I want it to be. And from here, we can change how our menu is structured. So I'm actually going to remove this right here, 
put home without the custom link up here. I'll put team, pricing, contact. I feel like that makes the most sense. And I'll just save this menu. Lastly, I'll just go over here to settings, reading. And within here, I want the static home page to be home. And I'll save those changes. So now, if we go back to the site, here was our site. We'll just refresh it. And we're going to have home, team, pricing, and contact over here. So you see that it has contact, it has all these pages, home right here. What I'm gonna to need to do is actually go back into pages. I forgot to do this. So if we go to edit, we're gonna to need to make them full width. So let's go down to where it says page attributes and we'll make it elementor full width and just click update. We're gonna do that on each of these pages. So that was contact. We'll go to home, do the same thing, edit it. Go to full width for the template, click update on the page attributes. We'll go back here to pricing now and we'll do the same thing. Page attributes, full width, update. And we'll do lastly, we'll go to the team page here, edit. And here we'll make this full width under the page attributes and then we'll just update that. So now if we go and refresh, we're gonna have our home page right here. Set up, it looks very nice, I think. And if we go back over here, we have team. Same thing, it's a pretty nice looking page here to get working on right off the bat. Pricing, and we can just use this one to add it off of as well. And then a simple contact page, we probably need to add a contact form to this in most cases, but that would work for a lot of sites as far as a contact page goes. So once you are happy with how the site looks, you can just go right in and start editing the site with Elementor. I do recommend Elementor Pro, and I have a link to that in the description if you want to pick that up. But with Elementor, you're going to be able to make a lot of changes right here on the screen. So you have the site that's so easy to use and build off of right here, ready to go for you if you want to start editing and making it your own. Also down here, you're going to see that there's this new icon, and that's the Envato icon. If we click that, you can actually add more templates. You can add specific blocks as well. So it says right here, browse over 581 free responsive block templates right here. So let's just say you wanted to add a call to action at the bottom of this page. The thing that I like is these template kits are going to come and they're actually going to fit together. They're going to look like they actually go together once you install the template kit itself. So if you add something from one of these, it might not fit perfectly with what you have going on but you could add something like this that's a little more generic and we can just insert it in and then we can work on changing the look of it. So if we went right here, right click, edit section, we can go into style and then you could change the color to fit more with the colors that we have going on in these other sections. So you could actually get the hex code and everything like that, but maybe you wanna add this in, this take action now, and then you could go and edit the button as well, add a link to something like that, maybe go to your contact page or order page with pricing. And that is how you could easily start to edit them. So I'm just gonna click update here. And really that's what I wanted to show you how to make a website quickly using Envato Elements. You can edit these as needed, of course, and start changing all these. I'm gonna have some more detailed Elementor Pro tutorials where I'm gonna go into fully editing something like this after we put it in place as a template kit to build off of. But for now, I really just wanted to show you how to make a website quickly with Envato Elements. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful. If it was, please feel free to give me a thumbs up or a like, and please consider subscribing to the channel for more WordPress related content. Thanks for viewing and have a wonderful day.